Okay, so we are only given ratio here, ratio of the parameter. So to make life easier, right, I'm going to um, do the parameter like this. This is a regular hexagon. So I'm going to do it this way. So from here, the parameter is supposed to be 6x. And then it is in a ratio of 1 is to 2. So I'm expecting that this part, the parameter will be uh, 12x. And 12x divided over three sides, it should be 4x. So I set up my algebra using the parameter ratio that they gave me. Okay, so I need to find their area, area ratio. So I don't know whether, do you remember in a hexagon, all these are, this one is a 60 degree. Okay, can I enlarge for you? Cannot, I cannot write also. So a single triangle, right? This is a 60 degree here. So this is also 60. So that means if you look at this, this is one piece of triangle. So how do you get the area of the hexagon? Six triangle. You got six of this. So you got six of this. So it's six of half A, B, sine C. Triangle is half A, B, sine C. So you do that. You can choose not to put a uh, punch out 60, sine 60. You can choose not to punch out sine 60. Okay, this one is also an equilateral triangle. So all these are also 60. So for the area of the triangle, it will be half four x, half AB sine C as well. But I do it in four x, half, 4x times 4x. So you simplify the algebra, 16x squared, then you will get 8x squared. Okay, why I don't bother to punch out? Because during the ratio stage, I can cancel away. So if I'm going to take the ratio of the area, I end up canceling away. Sorry, I canceled the wrong thing. So I should be canceling the x square. I should be canceling the sine 60. So I'm left with three is to eight. So that is the use of algebra for this question. So later on question 14 is the same thing. So some of you got for question 14 correct without the use of algebra. You might want to explore it. If you try using algebra, does that work or not?